Filipina dating online. Uh, is the girl a guy? <laughs> it may seem very obvious. Um, somebody like myself can actually spot a lot of the um, differences, familiarities, whatever you want to call it. I can tell if somebody's gay or not. Um, but I know many guys that haven't. I know lots, well, when I say lots, it's less than 10, but still more than 5, that have actually been dating people online for several months that weren't aware that the person was a guy. Um, a friend of mine approached me relating to somebody he'd helped out financially, but it, that was what prompted him to ask me, do you think this is real? You know, the relationship? But the first thing I notice is when I see in the photos, it's like, that's not, they don't look right. You know, <laughs> it, it's hard to explain, but you can tell with uh, certain things you can sense. Um, but generally, you only pick it up because you've spent a lot of time around people in the Philippines. For example, you will see the uh, transgender girls, with, girls with a U, not with a I. Uh, walking around the shopping mall and from the back they look like women but they swing their hips a lot more there's more um, cheap shall we say than Filipino women are um, so there is things that you can you automatically know ah, that they're gay guys the way they dress etc etc you, you can sense it but also don't be shocked if you do find that the person you've been talking to um, is actually a guy later on, it's been very, very common. Um, there's been cases of people that have actually flown to the Philippines to later go, nobody met me at the airport. And then somebody's texted them or whatever and said, oh yeah, they're a bit shy. Um, they just wanted to say that they're not actually a girl. Because the thing is, a lot of the time, it's not um, it, it's not orchestrated financially. It's a, sometimes it is. Uh, I won't deny that because some of them are manipulative because they have that knowledge of male and female. They manipulate things to suit themselves. So they can be very manipulating. But at the same time, because... They're actually looking for a relationship, but have no way of creating the relationship with the type of people they want to meet. A lot of the um, transgender girls will actually engage online, hoping to meet the guy of their dreams. But the guy of their dreams is normally straight. <laughs> it's all it's all a bit peculiar sometimes, you know, because it it's not a relationship supposed to be because the person at the, on the other end of the camera is thinking the person's a girl and because it's not in person there's a lot of things going on in both people's heads that is fiction because they haven't actually met so there's a you know it's a bit like reading a book you know you get a character in a book you've got an expectation so when you find out that that guy is a that girl is a guy it can go completely pear-shaped um, also, there's a feeling of humiliation, that sort of thing. But all I'm saying is, don't worry about it. You know, at the end of the day, it's just one of those things. It happens to a lot of people. Um, where would you take the relationship from there? Don't ask me. I, I'm simply saying that. But I would say, don't take it if somebody's actually trying to go out their way to embarrass you or something. A lot of times, they it's just confusing, you know, because they're confused with sexuality. So it's all, it's not su to, supposed to make you angry or whatever. It's just, who knows? <laughs> there is no straight answer to it. Um, I'm going to say straight answer. That wasn't a pun. <laughs> but the, the, the fact is, you've got to be aware that these things do happen. And if you're doing online dating, you will meet a lot of girls 
Um, you just need to learn how to filter the people out. But uh, one of the things I will say about online dating, um, in fact, I'll do another video on online dating for a bit of hints and tips. But just don't let things ruin whatever you got going on. I know some some guys have had disastrous th things happen with meetings and stuff. Um, I've met guys that have been in relationships for three to five years that later found out some real horror stories stories about the person that actually fly and meet and then they'll go back to work and stuff because they work in the oil fields, they work in shipping, etc. But it's only when they go to settle in the Philippines that they realize that the woman that they've been supporting for years is married, got kids, got all sorts of complex things going on in their lives and they just feel completely deflated about it. Um, there is ways to avoid it. Um, I'll just talk about those um, in the next video. But for this, just be aware, there is a lot of guys that are girls, and I know many people have been caught out. So, you have been warned. <laughs>